Hey folks, this is Susie Meadows, and I wanted to talk about this month's Paper Pumpkin. It's the Berry Comforting December 2020 Paper Pumpkin Kit. And those that you have that have been getting it, you I know you love it like I do. It comes in the mail every month. It's a little bit of a surprise. We're not really sure what we're going to get. Uh, there's hints of colors, cards versus treat packaging, but uh, these are the these are the ones that came this month. It comes in sometimes it's a special box. This time it came in the normal orange box. And what you get are the instructions. You get a stamp set. I'm going to try to get it and show you here. You get a stamp set and you get an ink spot. This color is rich razzleberry. And, um, and then like in this time, we got a whole, whole package of dimensionals, pop-ups. So, but I'm just going to show you a few things. I made the standard, the three cards. It's nice because they give you all the instructions how to make it, and uh, also some alternatives. Get you some, get some ideas sparking here. Um, so I made those, the uh, the standard ones, and then I started experimenting. And these are what I came up with um, that you've been seeing here. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail of how I made each one. I am going to show a couple of the things I did. I will list the supplies in the um, in the description of the video. Um, just I'll start here. This is a, a, a mini pizza box. It's gold. And I have just cut down one of the panels. And this is one of the things I'm going to show is how I do this two color stamp with this um, flower. So I'll be showing that. The um, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to pick them up one at a time. Um, in fact, so you can see things really well, I'm going to clear this. Here we go. So this one, this is using the um, stitched Be Mine dies. And this one, I'm going to pull it over here. This was a... Uh, um, uh, oh, oh, I like putting them in together. One time we could get this as a bundle, the stamp set and the dies, but these are the Be Mine Stitched. And this is what they actually make. I like die cutting so I can see what I've got. So I use this and what I did on this one is I just, I've and I've showed that for, to you before, I just took an embossing folder and I put ink on it and then ran it through the die cut machine. And that's how you get that nice variety there. So that was one of the things I did. Um, mm, this one is just the card base. Once again, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, particular stamping. This is, once again, this pretty frilly piece is from those stitched Be Mine dies. This is the uh, Gold Forever uh, specialty paper. I think it just adds some nice bling to the background of the fox. This we'll go with this one next. This one uses the ornate frames uh, die set and this is what it looks like and this is the particular die I used and it, it's nice it, it's frilly it makes a lot of different things and in fact here's some of the different dies that I've, I've cut out um, some different sizes but that's what I used I thought that just made a really nice background the clips of coral I ran through the uh, embossing folder subtle is what the name of that is so and this last card I oh I cut this sea foam from the envelope the soft sea foam and use that in with the stamps in the kit I stamped the leaves and here I stamped the bear and I use the blends and I use gray granite dark and light and then um, crumb light crumb cake over all of it and that gives it a nice variety of color I thought and then petal pink light petal pink for the face and I'm going to show you how to do this. Oh, this ribbon is one of the new ones coming. It is so fun to play with. It's in the new January to June catalog, but uh, that's a fast, uh, fun one. Striped Rich Razzleberry, or no, maybe it's Blackberry Bliss, but it's a nice ribbon, bottom line. So I'm going to show you the envelope first, what I do. Um, 
This kit came with envelopes. It's got some really pretty inside. In fact, I like this paper a little better than this one. The background on this is white and the background on the card base is soft sea foam. And I, I just think that's very distinctive. So you probably know how to cut down an envelope, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I use my trimmer and I'm just going to Cut an edge off there and cut another edge off. I just turn it over so I always have that straight line. I like that. I'm going to open it up and put the crease right in the middle. There we go. And um, let me see. What I also did was I did the crease, and you can do it however, but bottom line, you have a piece of paper you can work with. But on this particular card, you notice there's just a little strip there, and that's this strip here. I cut it at the crease. It's got, um, you know, it's been gummed, so you, can, um, so you can seal it. Well, I just wanted to get a good straight line, so I just, Once again, trimmed it, and then the last trim was to cut off that gum. And I like it. I've got my lines here, so I can always double check that I'm being that I'm straight if I'm wanting to be, and I am. And so there we go. That is the piece that I used for that right there. So that was just one thing I wanted to show how you can use the envelopes for some different colors of papers. And you know they're gonna coordinate because they came with the kit. So that was one of them. And the other tip I wanted to show you was, we'll get, uh, we'll get this out of the way here. Get my scraps out of the way. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you was how I, I'm gonna get the, get these over here. These are the stamps that I, I used this stamp here that comes in the kit and I did two colors. And I just gotta scoot some stuff over here. Okay, we are going to use, I'm gonna use my full size Rich Razzleberry. Um, I saved my little, um, uh, my little ink spots that come because you know here's the full size and here's the ink spot I use the, I do use these a lot for um, especially when I'm using my stamparatus but I haven't opened it yet because then again I may give that away to somebody who's just getting started stamping but so I'm just going to ink up my flowers if you see I'll bring it a little bit closer um, I'm just inking up my flowers and so see, I haven't touched the bottom. Now on the stem, I'm gonna do that in basic gray. I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm just going to ink up the bottom. Okay, so it looks a little funky. Now this is, doesn't, uh, it's a photopolymer, so it doesn't have a lot of cushion. So I like using some cushion as in like a foam mat. So put that down, let it transfer. Oh, now see, look, I missed a spot. Well, well then that's why I've got a bigger piece of paper. So I can Okay, yep, that looks good. And now we're going to ink the stems up. I don't want to cross contaminate my ink pads. I could probably you can always go use a lighter color to a darker, but um I, I, I just don't want to take a chance. So that's why I am doing it this way. And you notice I have a void. Well, that's okay because what I do is I use one of the sentiments, get well soon. I'm going to ink that up in my basic gray. <laughs> I'm nervous that I don't have it stamped well. I don't have it inked well. <laughs> especially on camera, you know? So there we go. Yep, perfect. Now, what I do is 
I have found that you can use a one and a half inch punch or a one and three quarters. They both work. I'm gonna use a smaller one this time. Punch it out. Now I also, I want my greenery to have a little bit of green. So I'm just gonna use our Stampin' Right marker. This is soft sea foam. And uh, because it's a small area, it works okay. Um, if I was coloring a large area, I would not use this marker because it would show streaks. But this is such a small area that it's okay. Okay, get my scissors. And I'm just going to, well, maybe. I'm just going to cut this down just a little bit. And I want it a little closer. I want a little smaller. And so what we do is right there. That's what we do to make this right here. Here's here I inked it up a little bit darker and I use green here. But on this case, I actually fussy cut it out around there. And here I put some bling to make it pretty. So but that is how I used two colors on this stamp. And yes, you have a void in the middle, but that's why you put your sentiment there. So hey, I hope you uh, picked up a tip or two from this video. Um, hope you are enjoying your paper pumpkin. I sure do. I never, you know, it's a, it's a new experience. Every time you get it, you're not sure what you're going to have. And, uh, I love being creative. So, uh, if you've got any questions, holler. But, uh, oh, the next kit, just so you know, um, you would need to subscribe by January 10th or 11th. I, I, I like going, I like saying the 9th. That way you're early. And, but it's sending hearts. And so it's going to be pinks and reds. Um, so check it out. So hope things are going well. Bye-bye.